What's up everyone and welcome to week 46 of our League of Legends Top 5 Plays on YouTube. My name is Parv and I invite you to take a few minutes out of your gaming time to check out some plays submitted by the League community and put together by us for your enjoyment. Coming in at number 5, we have Ian Laquanda on LeBlanc. And right off the bat, she's going to use Distortion to go through the wall in Q, and then using her ultimate, followed by Chains, and immediately going back as the Ash Arrow gets absorbed by her passive. Let's check that out one more time. She jumps to the wall and just lays down the burst on the Ash while just barely escaping death via Ash Arrow. Now that's fast. Scoring into fourth place is Kira on Poppy. From the start of the clip, we see her defending the turret as a lone wolf, but she's going to pop her ultimate on Katarina, follow it up with Deathfire's Grasp and Heroic Charge for maximum damage. She chases her down with her temporary immunity to all their champions and snags the kill. Now with three enemy players chasing her, she decides there is no use in outrunning another Poppy in vain and decides that some juke must happen. She sees the opportunity and heads in towards the brush and immediately turns around juking out all three of them as she heads back towards her base. The enemy Poppy pops Ghost as Vayne brings Kira really low, but she heroic charges the creep to secure a getaway and an excellent 1v4 defense to the turret while grabbing plus one. Our number three spot for this week comes from Air Luin playing in the semifinals of the G Sports Tournament. As many of you know, Dragon Domination throughout a game is normally what snowballs the team into victory. This clip stuck out to me and was deemed worthy of the number three spot for this week because GP and TF were able to deny the enemy team Dragon in a 2v4 situation for a long time even though the scores were all tied up. Here we see Gangplane's ultimate go up and the wild cards get tossed out as they just barely scared the enemy team into backing off Dragon and preventing them from getting the early upper hand. To top it all off, Luin runs over against a blind wild card killed as his team comes in. Since they brought the enemy team so low, his team gets the free uncontested Dragon and global goodies that come with it. Landing in at our second place spawn is Dean's on Nidalee, and right off the start we see him getting ganked by double buffed Ramus, but he decides to stay put in the brush for now. Ramus hits him with Powerball, and right after he leaps onto Ribbon with Ignite and forces her to stun and run away. After that he gets taunted by Ramus, and it looks like Ribbon will escape, but he's going to get out of cat form, tossing out a wicked spear that catches Ribbon mid-jump and takes her down. Now we're going to fast forward this for a bit as they have a cat and mouse chase for quite some time. As she heads for the tower, she gets taunted and starts to take some heavy damage, falling to 25 health, but cheating death with a clutch heal. Ramus starts to Powerball, and he's going to flash into her, but she's going to manage to turn it around deal some nice damage with the help of the turret, pulling off the 2-0 exchange after being ganked. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Nevermore BG playing some Irelia in ranked fives, and she's just minding her own business when suddenly a wild enemy team appears. Using Equilibrium Strike, she stuns Nidalee and popping her ultimate, sending it through the entire enemy team and healing her for a substantial amount. As Irelia continues to distract, her team is rushing over, but then Cassiopeia shows up, so she's going to stun her instantly, blaze surging, so that her back is facing her. Now Morgana's teleport top, and she comes in with the shield and a huge ultimate in the entire enemy team. Lap one complete. Nidalee flashes but gets instantly stunned and Irelia runs for a bit and then Blaze surges to Soraka but Nidalee is persistent and keeps on chasing and then finally a last equilibrium strike goes out that guarantees Nevermore survival and the longest lasting bait ever. Well played. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have Tidlon on Master Yi, and he's hauling it over to the team fight with his ultimate pop as he spots Nocturne with barely any health left running away. He flashes an alpha strike for the kill on the turret and immediately spots Ezreal at low health, so he's going to alpha strike again for the double kill, a third time for the triple, and one last alpha strike to pick up the quadra kill. Did anyone call a cleanup crew? Please like, subscribe, favorite, and all that good stuff because it helps the channel oh so much, and thanks to everyone for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you back here on Tuesday.